Hi folks, today's movie review is of Urban Kirshner's space opera epic, released in 1980, The Empire Strikes Back, the arguably the second chapter in the Star Wars saga. Where to begin? As I have said before, this is a film that is very good, and it's really hard to say where does it start being good because it is excellent. This is a very well made movie. Irving Kirshner's direction is brilliant. I don't want to sound criti overly critical of George Lucas, but I think one of the reasons the movie succeeded is because other people were involved. Now, one of the things about Star Wars that made it interesting is it was very difficult to make. Because George Lucas faced a lot of opposition trying to make the film because he wanted to make it his way. And some of the pressure from the studio didn't allow him to do that. But I think that was actually beneficial. Steven Spielberg once said that compromise is a film director's greatest ally. You need to be able to compromise. And um, that's one of the reasons I think Star Wars was so good because some of the ideas that George Lucas originally had they weren't able to do for various reasons may have been a detriment to the film. Now, as with The Empire Strikes Back, because other people were involved, George Lucas did co-write the script with Lawrence Kasdan, who is a very good screenwriter, and allowing someone else to direct the movie, Urban Kirshner, who made a few movies, not very well-known movies, uh, Ray Dunn and Tebe, which is a made for TV, he made Up the Sandbox, The Eyes of Laura Mars, uh, and a lot of other smaller character-driven films. And I think what really makes Star Wars work is Kirshner was able to take the epic scope of Star Wars and give it a more personal touch. The characters, you really get to know a lot of that. The characters are very, very strong. The plot is good. It's not as solid of a plot as Star Wars. But that's part of the genius of the film. It's, it's a very murky plot. But that actually works, because it's the second chapter. They are in the middle of the road. <laughs> and the movie does not end on a particularly happy note. But I think that all those things add up to make a great movie. So a note about the dialogue. Now, the dialogue in Star Wars is inherently campy. But that works because it fits into that. It fits. Star Wars, despite its exotic setting a long time ago in the galaxy far, far away, is very contemporary. But contemporary in the sense that not that it's modern in its sensibilities, it's universal. Star Wars is a story that can be understood by people of all cultures and all religions and all places of the world. So, Star Wars is timeless. Now, part of what makes the campy dialogue allowable is that it fits. Star Wars is supposed to be a I think the right word would be it's supposed to relate to all of us. And so the dialogue, I think, is campy because it reflects that Star Wars is very down to earth. So it's got cheesy dialogue. It's got a lot of things that appeal to the masses, which in this case is a good thing. The Empire Strikes Back is brilliantly executed as a film. Urban Kirshner's direction is brilliant. I may hesitate a little in saying this, 
but I think, personally, that Urban Kirster should have been nominated for Best Director. Would the film not merit a Best Picture nomination? I'm not entirely sure. But its direction is brilliant. Urban Kirshner directed uh, some smaller films. And this is his most enduring. But he understood the process. One thing to point out is characters is one of the strongest characters, in fact, the strongest character in Star Wars is Yoda. Yoda, who is first presented to us in The Empire Strikes Back, brings so much depth and complexity. And this is absolutely brilliant execution because Irvin Kirchner and Frank Oz and all these other, and even Mark Hamill, work together to make Yoda so believable that he works. And he is, I think, the greatest strength of the film. Many of the things he says are the greatest strengths, but he is a character. If he had not worked, if they had not made him believable, then the film would fail. Plot-wise, the film is murky. The characters are, I think, one of the things that make the Empire Strikes Back so strong are the characters. The spectacle, of course, is brilliant, but the poetry to the way the story is told is an absolute brilliance and strength in this film that I think even Star Wars was lacking. The Empire Strikes Back brought Star Wars to a new level of depth and complexity. And sadly, with the movies, that has not been equal since the release of The Empire Strikes Back. This is a brilliant film. Uh, I would call it superior to Star Wars. And that's my review.